Hi, my name is Mrs. Kathy, and we're going to be looking at the second in a series about the trombone today. Now we looked already at how to properly put the pr trombone together, how to hold it on your left shoulder, and also making sure that the slide mechanism is working properly. Today we're going to be looking at our first note that's in the book that we use here at Covina Valley Unified Schools. And that book, you can, be, you can find it at any music store. We have Accent on Achievement. You want to make sure that you get the trombone book. All of the instrument books look the same on the outside, so you want to make sure that it says trombone right here at the top. So once we see that, you'll be looking at the first note. Uh, your teacher will instruct you about that, but we're going to be looking at our first note, which happens to be called D. Now D is played by putting our slide in a very special position. I want to talk to you a little bit about positions. Remember I told you that we don't have any place where we actually change our fingers like on a flute or a clarinet or a saxophone or even a trumpet, but instead we have to move our arms closer to our body and further away from our body. The closest position where the slide is all the way up as far as it will go is called position one. And we have position two, about halfway between the bell, this is the bell, and the position one, which is all the way up, and then we have position three, which actually if you put your finger right here where the bell is, you will find that that's position three. Position four is just slightly beyond position three. So for our note today, which is called D, we're going to have to come to position four. So remember, it's one, two, three, right here at the bell, and then four. And when we play, we're going to try to match a pitch that we have on the piano, because we can't just play any pitch. We have to match it according to what we hear, and sometimes we have to adjust our mouth or our embouchure accordingly. We have to tighten it up or loosen it up. So let's go ahead and hear that, that pitch called D. Now you notice at the beginning of it, I was too low, and so I had to adjust my mouth to come up to that pitch. So if I'm starting out by going like this, I have to adjust my buzz. So instead of adjust it like that. So let's do that pitch again. What happened that time? I believe it was too high. Bum, bum, but I still had to come to that matching pitch. So we have our D. And we want to make sure that once we get it, that we hold it for four counts. We don't want to just puff it like this. But we want to do it for four counts. So listen to the pitch on the piano again. So hold it as long as you can. So the trombone has many notes that you can play with each one of the positions. In fact, let me demonstrate that to you. On that position number four, I can play many different sounds. All from just adjusting my mouth according to how tight it is or how loose it is. So it'll be very, very important for you to listen carefully to the pitch that maybe your teacher is singing or maybe your teacher is playing for you on the keyboard. If you have a chance at home, you can also go to the keyboard or have someone else go to the keyboard and play D, and that will be your first note, D, as fourth position. Thanks, and we hope you practice a lot on the trombone. We'll see you next time.